Hello, hi guys. Good evening. I'm Deepu. Um, have you ever wondered how doctors learn? This is important because uh, how they learn actually influence the treatment decisions, right? So we are actually building a mobile application which helps doctors learn via clinical cases. I myself am a medical doctor. Uh, I specialize in internal medicine and critical care. Uh, we are from India. We are here part of a GSF accelerator. So doctors learn by three means, essentially three means. That is one is obviously the textbooks. Uh, the second method is uh, they learn by practice, the residencies, the internships. And there is actually a third method. So these are called clinical cases. Uh, so these case studies are uh, essentially similar to the management case studies or marketing case studies. But there are a few essential differences. Uh, they are like, these case studies are very personal. Uh, the doctor sees a patient, he creates a case study. And a med school creates a lot of cases, around 600 to 800 cases per year for education. And uh, these cases can, uh, can be just an image, or it can be a long case like an uh, X-ray with, with a clinical history, labs, X-rays, and images. So I'm going to make four statements here, which constitute our opportunities slash problem statements. One is, uh, cases are fun and engaging. I think you, you might have got the gist of it because uh, it's, it's like a story. It's like a patient story. A patient, young patient with fever and seizures come, he, come to you. Uh, this is MRI. What do you think is the diagnosis? How do you treat? So it's kind of a story. There is an intrinsic gamified element to it. That is first statement number one. Statement number two. 98% of the cases die as old PowerPoint files. So, so while I was finishing my MD, almost all my cases which I created, which I was spending a lot of time to, it was in my phone and my laptop. I didn't publish it, I didn't share it. And why is that? We don't have a Stack Overflow. The tech guys will know what Stack Overflow is, right? It's a beautiful platform. I mean, I'm jealous of my tech colleagues. It's a beautiful platform where you share and learn and upload and learn. We don't have any platform like that. I mean, we do have one platform, that is journals. That is our traditional journals. But for me, journals are kind of last century D. Uh, they're essentially user-generated content in our own sense. And they're actually putting a payroll of $200, $100 per year for us to read cases. And journals are more towards research rather than learning. Journals are boring. Journals are not personalized. Journals are not engaging. So we thought putting all these four things, we, we knew there is an opportunity. And that's how we built this app. This app is exclusively for doctors. So what you get is a personalized feed. So as a doctor, you sign up in the app. What you get is a personalized feed of cases. Uh, loosely put, it will be like a Facebook feed. But not that engaging, but it's kind of feed of cases according to your specialty. If you're a cardiologist, you'll get cardiology cases. And you can have an x-rays, images, MRIs. You can actually evaluate the case, come to a diagnosis. You can actually challenge yourself, you can challenge your friends, you can build a leaderboard, and you can actually collect these pearls. Pearls are like essential, very important tips which you can collect from the cases. So you can save it later and use it like a flashcard. And uh, I mean, let, 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 let me put this use case scenario. This is an image uploaded by one of our doctors. There is a swelling in the left side of his neck. So that swelling is a lymph node swelling, and the patient had a uh, weight loss. So essentially, the patient is having stomach cancer, uh, carcinoma of stomach. So this is something you will learn as a doctor. I was learning in my textbook. But when I just see this single image, it's totally different. And that is the value of clinical cases. I can read it, but when I see it and read it, next time when I say, maybe I will see only one patient in my life, but that time I'll be able to make a diagnosis. Same time, it's fun and engaging. So this is the team. Uh, we have two co-founders. Technical team is Nimi. She is uh, MTech I, from uh, MTech CS. She has previously worked the Akash tablet project in India. And I am a medical doctor. I previously co-founded Doctor Spring, which is currently one of the top five online consultation portals. And we have an engaging team of uh, community editor and doctors. And uh, we actually publish these cases in two methods. It's not like it's not a very open platform like Stack Overflow. We have a so when it comes to publishing, we are more like a journal than an app. We are more of a journal than an app. So we have the top med schools in India publishing cases through us. AIMS is actually publishing endocrinology cases, and we had a network effect. We had a lot of schools coming in to publish cases. We have individual doctors. We have a small editorial team and a peer review team who handles these cases. So business model is built around access to doctors because these multi-billion dollar industries are actually dependent on doctors to reach his users. So basically, we are building access to doctors, which if you are familiar with the Doximity or um, Quanche MD, it's a similar business model. And uh, 
So 200 new doctors, we are very young, we are six months old, we will product uh, live only for three months. 200 new doctors use, use, join our platform every day. We only have a beta version of Android app. With the iOS app release, we expect 1,000, more than 1,000 doctors every day. We have 12,000 doctors currently in your platform, 300 plus case repositories, and we started as a Facebook group actually, so it has grown to 50,000 now. So I don't think I have time for this. So, um, so yeah, we do have a positive impact on treatment outcome. So, um, and currently we are looking to raise 500K from here. And that's all about it. And if, that's it.